Alright, and we're back here at DHD TV. I know it's been a little while since we've uh, posted any videos or gotten back with you on anything, so I just wanted to give a few updates. First off, I wanted to say uh, thank you to Justin's sister for making our new hats. Um, more subscribers we get, the more followers we get. We'll have some merchandise available. Um, we'll just have to see how that all goes. Another quick update I wanted to give you all was on the apple trees and pear trees. Our pear trees kind of died while uh, going through a move. And um, we also lost a couple apple trees. But this is what we ended up with. We ended up with 22 Fujis and Honeycrisp. Um, also want to kind of give you an update of what we got going on. So Saturday will be May 1st. We're going to be doing all of our planting. We've uh, decided to go with buckwheat in the easement. We already have some clover that's going. Um... And we're just going to plant that right on in with it. We got a roller all fixed, so we'll be rolling it. And then inside on the lima bean, we've extended it out, made it a little bit bigger. We already have a nice little clover patch established in there. We're going to be adding some field peas to that side. And then on the new side that we dug out, we'll be adding our mean bean uh, mix with uh, field peas, cow peas, um, all that will be inoculated as well. We'll show you this weekend how to do that. Our little method we're going to go with. Making our slurry for it. And uh, so yeah, we've got a lot of chores going on. Like I said, Saturday will be May 1st. So it's time to get in the woods and uh, get the get all them chores going. And start treating the deer. And start uh, seeing some of that new growth. We'll add some pictures on here. We already have a few bucks that are uh, putting on some horn. We, on April the 10th, we have a picture of a buck still with horn on, still hard horn. Uh, so kind of a strange deal there. I'll uh, throw a picture of that on there. If anybody's got any comments or, you know, what the deal might be there, I just feel like April 10th is awful late in the year to be adding in um, or to still be having horn on. So anyhow, um, we're going to be adding in two water holes, one on the east side, one on the west side. Um, the one on the west side will actually be just right on the edge of the lima bean plot there. So, uh, anyhow, we have a, a lot going on. I went down last weekend. I tore it on and spot sprayed. So, uh, got some of that management started and going. Uh, getting prepared for this upcoming weekend. I also freshened up the uh, mineral sites, adding in trophy rock. Um, so, anyhow, we got a lot going on. Um, Sorry for neglecting you all. Like, share, subscribe, follow us. I swear as uh, summer months get to rolling and we have less stuff going on in our lives here at DHD. Uh, we'll be adding more videos. We got a lot going on at the Mecca this summer. So um, anyhow, like, share, subscribe, and uh, follow along. We'll be back with you Saturday. We're back at DHD. It's May 2nd. Today's going to be our big day of planting. Um, we've got mean bean we're going to be mixing in. That is uh, forage soybeans, cow peas, and lab lab. We're going to be mixing in some spring peas and cow peas um, from outside pride seeds. So uh, we'll get started. We're going to do an inoculant and I'm going to show you how to do that and make a slurry. So, by our little thing here, we got five pounds of mean bean and two and a half pounds of peas. So, just get started here. First, I'm going to do these spring peas. So, this is a five pound bag, and I mean, honestly, I'm just going to guess. I don't have scales. Most people will be upset with me, but. So, I don't know. Kind of imagine splitting that up in the fifth. Say that's about a pound. Here we got some cow peas. Like I said, this is by Outside Pride. We've also purchased their buckwheat, their dwarf Essex, I believe. Um, most all of our seed has come from 
outside pride. Just kind of guessing here. And five pounds of mean bean. And this is all going on the lima bean on the new expansion side that we just started. And then on the clover side, we're going to be mixing in uh, just a couple pounds of peas in with it. And then we're going to leave some seed left over for replanting. We've eventually got a fence by Hoyman that we've got on the way. So just kind of half of the bag there. That looks good. So you can kind of see our variety we got going there. And now, they say just a simple, small dusting of inoculant is all you need. And this is actually enough inoculant for an acre, so I'm just going to kind of guess. Treats up 50 pounds, it says. This is by Exceed. Some pretty good inoculant. Again, I want to throw a shout out for the hats. We get enough subscribers and stuff like that. Like I said, we can uh, maybe do some merchandise on down the road. And I'm just guessing on this, so put a little powder over it. Should be enough inoculant if it doesn't mix well. Basically, the slurry is a sugar type drink, Capri Sun. We're choosing Snapple, Kiwi Strawberry. Kids will be proud of that. And you're just kind of not a whole lot. Less is more. So we're going to start off with something like that. And then you're just mixing it in. Oh, yeah. And you can see how that inoculant sticks to the seeds. And so the sugars and all that inside the drink are supposed to help with sticking. The sugars uh, just, you know, it gets sticky cleaned up after your kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about with the free sun. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. They say not to do it with cold, so that Snapple there has been sitting out for quite a while. It was pretty warm yesterday. So anyhow, use warm, not cold. And there we go. That's how you do that. Alright, and we're down here at the lima bean. So as I said, we're going to do the mean bean and the pea mixture um, over here on the new side where we expanded. And then over here on the clover side, we're going to be mixing in just uh, the two different types of peas. And then we're also going to throw in a little bit of bow stand here by Imperial Whitetail by Whitetail Institute I should say but uh, Imperial Whitetail Bow Stand so uh, we're going to broadcast that in on the clover side we're just going to broadcast in the peas by hand on both sides um, but on the new side we're actually going to tilt we're going to cultivate it in and then everything will be rolled so uh, anyhow uh, we'll get started um, Justin if you want to you can kind of come with me and I'll Show what I'm going to be doing. I'm just broadcasting by hand. So I'm going to start at the furthest spot. It'll also be nice I can show you how uh, well the water lowered after we put, or the water hole after we put water in it, how much it lowered down. So it looks a heck of a lot better since the last time I showed you. But anyhow, I'm just going to stand back here out of the way. And uh, I'm not going to paint myself into a corner, basically, and I'm just going to work my way back. So that's how we're going to do it. As I said, we're going to cultivate. We're going to cultivate this in. Just a nice, light little mixture. Turn in the dirt, and then we're going to roll it really, really good. And like I said, we left plenty for replanting, so if we need to replant, then we will. But we'll assess that whenever we get our Hoyman electric fence. Alright, we'll see you down at the easement. with the 
lima bean and now we're down at the easement so one of the big things that uh, we really wanted to try to do is try to amend the soil try to help it as much as we could by planting something and um, I mean brassicas and stuff like that just isn't going to work as you can see there's a lot of rock down there and so uh, buckwheat is what we've gone with and once again outside pride is the seed provider um, you know I mean when you got good reviews and good seed I mean you just gotta spend the extra money and go with uh, what works and um, so anyhow this is buckwheat we got 15 pounds and uh, we're gonna get after it just wanted to do a wrap-up video so we're back here at the lima bean if you listen quietly you can hear it's starting to sprinkle and rain so we choose a good day to start planting hopefully our water hole will fill up and uh, yeah just wanted to wrap it up this is our 2021 spring food plot planting so we got buckwheat and clover and a little bit of rape in the easement and up here we got the mean bean which is soybean uh, cow peas and lab lab and then we have some field peas and spring peas all mixed in over here and then on the clover side like I said we uh, threw in the uh, bow stand and some peas along in with it so we'll see you back I don't know what three weeks or so maybe about 30 45 days get back with some fertilizer videos on that we'll do some updating on how everything is going but uh yeah I mean so basically all we did was is we threw them down we turned the dirt and then we rolled it all really good looks really really nice but um like share subscribe and uh, we'll catch you next time